Hi team, welcome to your Win Wellbeing workout. So we got 10 minutes to get you coached up. It's all about love intelligence this week and I want you to be competitively great for you, for love, for me, we, and our world. Let's talk about it. How do you do it? Well, first of all, I wanna start with anchoring in competitive greatness. And competitive greatness is all about you being competitively great for you. Anytime you think about the word compete, I want you to think about compete for me. We're not competing against anyone. We're really changing from a love cue perspective, competing for ourselves, for the projects that we want, for the people that we care about. I hope that feels completely different for you when we think about competing for each other. So that is all about competitive greatness, starting with the competition component. Now let's go to truth and trust two of the foundations for really being able to go for this competitive greatness. We've got the competitiveness, that's being for each other and for ourselves. How do we get the greatness? Well, the greatness starts with the truth. The truth is, am I willing to do the work? Am I setting myself up for success? Am I anchored in purpose and passion? Am I disciplined? Am I making great choices every time that are choices for me and for what I'm going for? Then we've got to move into the trust factor. Do I trust myself? Do I trust my support team? Do I trust the people that I've chosen to really bring into my circle to say, this is what matters to me. This is what I'm committed to being competitively great for. So competitive greatness being for me and for the projects that I'm involved in, that's the competitiveness. Then we're going to go into the greatness and the greatness starts with truth, trust, and faith. Next, we're adding that faith component. Faith means I'm going for something and I'm just really putting my faith in my teammates and my people that I'm working with and the projects because we have no idea how things are gonna turn out. But from a love cue perspective, if you're going for what matters to you, there's nothing that is gonna matter as long as it's anchored in the love component. Win or loss, if you've anchored in love, it's so worth it. So that's that faith component, really going for something that you don't have any guarantees how it's going to work. So remember, we're talking about the greatness aspect. So greatness is all about truth, trust, faith, and love. And the greatest of these is love. So it's so important that we get all of these components together for competitive greatness. And if we don't really connect, to ourselves and to the people and we keep everybody kind of out there and we're just going through the motions, we don't bring that competitive greatness together. So that's what your practice, practice, practice is all about this week. Having the courage to go out and number one, be for you, be for the projects that matter to you, share it, let people know what matters to you, be competitively great, anchored in love. Think about your truth, are you being truthful with yourself and others? so that you can be trusted, trustworthy, and that the people that you've put on your support team are trustworthy as well. Remember, trust is a bond that is so, so strong and it's incredibly fragile. So you've got to just hold that like a glass heart that, you know what, I'm going to anchor in that trust and I'm going to know that it's so easy for that to be shattered. So honor how valuable that is. Have faith, have faith in yourself, the people that you've committed to, the projects you've committed to. Remember to be for you and for the projects. That's how we've got the best shot at winning. And then we're gonna have love. It's all about LQ. That's what matters. Okay, I've got you set up to practice, practice, practice love intelligence for the week. Go out, be a champion for your well-being. See love this week.